Anime versus manga, cartoons versus comics, a debate as old as time itself. Well, maybe not that old, but as schools of thought differ, a lot of them agree that you can compare the incomparable. Yet, here we are, today we're going to put Clip Studio Paint, a state-of-the-art illustration software, on the same chopping block as Toon Boom Harmony, the industry standard when it comes to 2D animation. Why, you might ask? Well, let's find out. Let's start by getting to know the software on a basic level. Sitting upon its throne as the prime 2D animation software, Toon Boom Harmony was developed by Chorus Entertainment to support both rigged puppet animation and frame-by-frame -frame traditional animation, available on both Windows and Mac OS with relatively reasonable system requirements, for a software this powerful, that is. It has been responsible for creating some of your favorite shows and movies, such as Princess and the Frog, and that one Spongebob movie where he leaves the water or something. Anyways, it's used by all sorts of major entertainment companies, regardless of whether they specialize in animation or live-action productions. As is standard these days, the software has multiple subscription plans, ranging from $200 to $1,000 per year, depending on the desired options. On the other side of the comparison, we have a one-time purchase only software that you can get the pro version of for only 50 bucks, or you can also get the premium X version for $220, with a monthly subscription option of only 99 cents. Now, you may be asking, why Clip Studio? Well, my friends, next to being an extremely powerful illustration and painting software, and one of the industry's most prominent software for comic book and manga illustration, it's also capable of supporting 3D assets and more importantly, frame-by-frame -frame 2D animation. Another factor in determining which software is best suited for your needs is the tools and workflow of each. The primary focus of Harmony is, as stated, 2D animation. Thus, it is only natural that it provides all the necessary tools for both frame-by-frame -frame and puppet animation. It has a relatively user-friendly customizable interface, as is the standard. The software provides all the usual tools offered in a drawing software including deformation and morphing, a generous brush library with a powerful brush engine, capable of supporting both raster and vector, along with options more unique to animation software, such as a 3D camera and 2D to 3D integration. It has everything one can possibly need to create professional quality animated projects, enhanced by many quality of life assets that are designed to simplify the animation and cleanup workflow such as a line art stabilizer, quick snapping and alignment guides, and perhaps most impressively, extremely easy and simple color management with a system that allows you to organize unlimited swatches of both bitmap and raster colors, each corresponding to an ID. And you can change the colors on a traditionally animated asset all across the entire production pipeline with the press of a few buttons. Talk about convenience. Now, as established earlier, it is capable of supporting all types of 2D animation, puppet animation with an extremely powerful rigging system that is capable of creating simple rigs directly from the timeline, or infinitely more complex ones with its master controller system generating manipulators that can affect one or several parts of the rig. So, you can either manipulate small parts or do multi-element character rotation without having to do much digging. It also supports frame-by-frame -frame animation with X-Sheet and timeline-based systems, along with advanced onion skinning, shift and trace tools, and powerful layer styles. Essentially, you can illustrate on an animation software, not to forget composite and node system, special effects, camera depth, and perhaps most importantly, it can support sound embedding, which is surprisingly understated since sound is mandatory for lip syncing and beat timing, cutting down on a lot of revision time. And now, we tackle the estranged cousin, the mule to our horse. Clip Studio is primarily a drawing and illustration software. What distinguishes this one from its competitors is how affordable it is compared to what it can offer. 
Other than an almost limitless library of pens and brushes, it fully supports 3D assets and 3D manipulation. It is equipped with perspective rulers, and perhaps most impressively, it has probably the most comprehensive comic making tools in the entire industry, from panel and speech bubble manipulation, all the way to pre-made assets, backgrounds, adjustable screen tones, and effect lines. It's needless to say that it's the go-to program for most comic creators. It's also supported by not only its developers, but also its users, with an extensive asset store, hosting many user-made assets that range from brushes to 3D objects. But what really puts this software in today's conversation is its very impressive and comprehensive animation tools, as you can opt to create an animation project that has a different interface, supporting multiple timelines and frame rate options. It's exclusive to frame-by-frame -frame animation, however, and it doesn't really support rigging, so no puppet animation for y'all, unless you use folders and hierarchy, like Man Leonardo shows us here. In the gaming world, we use the term easy to pick up, difficult to master, and this saying applies to both programs. Both of them serve very different purposes and are extremely capable in what they do. Because of that, the depth that every software goes to in its respective field of expertise can make mastering all their nuances extremely tedious, naturally. They are, however, both designed with efficiency and achieving high quality results with industrial speeds in mind. Both user interfaces can be a little bit cluttered and overwhelming, but they're also customizable, so that's that. Plus, both communities are extremely passionate about their tools of choice and are more than willing to share their technical knowledge. There are plenty of online courses and free video tutorials for all levels and skill sets, which will get you acquainted and help you master these software. And these resources are merely a few clicks away. In fact, we actually cover a lot of them on this channel, so do check them out. There is a single major con with Toon Boom Harmony. Yo, this thing is crazy expensive. Don't get me wrong, it is expected from the leading power in its industry, but still. Think costs an arm and leg, damn it, and it's not even a one-time purchase. Well, yes, there is the cheaper subscription option, but it's relatively bare bones compared to the premium version. The point is, this software is state-of-the-art industry standard 2D animation software, and any aspiring animator is required to have a level of mastery over harmony. But it's exactly that. It's a software made for the industry professional, not the hobbyist. Plenty of animation schools run their courses on this program, and plenty of studios rely on it and its partner programs for their productions. So the decisions on both its design and pricing are made with that in mind. In conclusion, it's really flipping powerful, but with that comes a steep learning curve and a less affordable price range. On the flip side, we have a much more affordable option that is equally as capable in its respective field of expertise. Of course, it's not nearly as capable when it comes to raw animation potential, but it more than makes up for it with how intuitive it is to use and how accessible it is for hobbyists and students. It's a great starting point for computer animation and is almost the industry standard when it comes to creating comic books. It's up there with Photoshop when it comes to digital painting and illustration too. The conclusion of this debate is, what is your goal? Do you want to become a professional animator or be a comic book artist slash illustrator that dabbles in animation? The answer to that question, along with your budget, are going to determine what software you might want to go for. Let it be known, they are both incredibly capable software and are leading developers in their respective categories. However, Clip Studio being a relatively affordable one-time purchase does make it a worthwhile investment for every artist out there, regardless of goals, but especially for someone who wants to experiment with 2D animation before making the plunge into more specialized software. We did it! We have conquered the Herculean task of comparing the incomparable. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but at least it's nowhere near as untouchable as the anime versus manga debate. Speaking of which, give us your thoughts in the comments below. Do you use any of these software, by the way? And 
If you do, do share your creations with us on our socials. Everything will be listed in the description box below. We hope you enjoyed today's comparison and learned something from it. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.